Pakistan's current PDM government and Election Commission of Pakistan are trying to delay the elections in Punjab and KP provinces beyond the 90-day limit clearly given in Article 224, sub-Article 2 of the Constitution of Pakistan. Let's look at the sequence of events that led to this constitutional crisis. On the 14th and 18th of January 2023, the Provincial Assemblies of the Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa provinces in Pakistan were dissolved by the Chief Minister under Article 112 of the Constitution of Pakistan. The Constitution of Pakistan clearly says in Article 224, sub-Article 2, that when the National Assembly or a Provincial Assembly is dissolved, a general election to the Assembly shall be held within a period of 90 days after the dissolution. Punjab and KPK governors refrained to announce the date for elections and also turned down President RF Alvi's request for a meeting to decide on a date. President RF Alvi, using his constitutional right, announced April 9, 2023 as the date for holding the general elections in two provinces. In his letter to the ECB, President Alvi said that the governors in the Punjab and KP provinces did not perform their constitutional duties by refusing to announce the poll dates. Therefore, in order to protect and defend the constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, it is his constitutional duty to announce the date of the elections. This gave birth to a stalemate leading to a constitutional crisis when the PDM government rejected President Alvi's move to announce the election date and called it unconstitutional. The matter landed in the Supreme Court of Pakistan and the Chief Justice of Pakistan took a suo moto notice of the delay in Punjab and KPK elections. On 1st March 2023, the Supreme Court announced the verdict in this Suomoto case on the delay in announcement of the date for elections and directed the ECP to take the necessary measures to conduct the polls in both provinces where the assemblies had been dissolved within 90 days. All government institutions were ordered to ensure cooperation with the Election Commission for holding polls in both provinces. After the Supreme Court verdict, the Election Commission of Pakistan wrote a letter to President Arif Alvi suggesting possible poll dates. President Dr. Arif Alvi announced that elections in Punjab will be held on April 30, 2023. However, the ECP later delayed the elections for six months ignoring the order of the Supreme Court and casually disregarding the constitution for spurious reasons of security and finances. This was challenged by the Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf in the Supreme Court and a hearing on the case began on 27 March 2023. It was evident from the proceedings of the court that the Supreme Court's responsibility was to uphold the Constitution of Pakistan and hence the court was trying to find a way on how to implement it. Seeing an unexpected verdict based on the Constitution of Pakistan, the PDM government started putting pressure on the Supreme Court judges and the Supreme Court bench Hearing the course dissolved twice when some of the judges excused themselves from hearing the case. PDM government expressed no confidence in the courts and threatened to boycott the verdict if it would be against their liking. The Interior Minister of Pakistan, Rana Sanaullah, even hinted to take action against the Supreme Court judges in the bench hearing the case. Imran Khan and his party, on the other hand, urged the nation to stand firmly by the law and the constitution of Pakistan and told the people to be ready to come out to protect it in case it is violated, as the constitution mandates that election be held within 90 days of the dissolution of provincial assemblies, and this was reiterated by a decision of the Supreme Court. If elections are delayed, two major provinces will be under the rule of a non-elected caretaker government, which is against democracy. This right to choose the representatives through a vote is guaranteed in the preamble of the constitution of Pakistan.